fallout at the FBI tonight. The bureau announcing today investigators failed to act on a tip warning that 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz had the potential to carry out a school shooting. The tip came on January 5th, 40 days before the massacre. It should have been enough time to save the lives of 17 students and faculty members at Stoneman Douglas High. Two victims were buried today. Mourners wept openly at the funeral service of Alyssa Aldahaf. At 14 years old, she was one of the youngest victims. She was an accomplished soccer player, debate team member, and straight-A student. The second shooting victim, 18-year-old Meadow Pollock, was honored at the congregation, Kol Tikva. Pollock was a senior who would have graduated in just three months from now. Meadow planned to attend Lynn University in Boca Raton next fall. Let's go now live to CBS 4's Amber Diaz with the latest on those new FBI revelations we just mentioned. Amber. Well, first things first, 39 calls. That's how many times BSO responded to Nicholas Cruz's home between March of 2011 and October of 2016 for incidents including domestic disturbances and a mentally ill person. But that's not all. We've learned the FBI dropped the ball not once but twice after receiving two calls about his alleged erratic behavior. The information about suspected mass killer Nicholas Cruz was given to the FBI 39 days before the Douglas High School massacre. Cruz's disturbing social media postings, his desire to kill people, and his erratic behavior led a person close to him to call an FBI tip line with critical red flags that went unchecked. The call was made on January 5th to the FBI's 1-800 tip line. An FBI employee in West Virginia took down the information. The person was not an agent, but was trained to take the calls and pass along the information when appropriate. The caller was someone who knew Nicholas Cruz. The caller referenced specific social media postings and said Cruz had firearms and expressed a desire to shoot people at a school. The tip should have been passed along to the FBI field office in Miami. The FBI office in Miramar is about a 30-minute car ride to Cruz's home at 441 Loxahatchee Road in Parkland. The FBI says the tip was never passed on to the Miami field office and no investigation was conducted. I don't know how many Nicholas Cruzes are on YouTube. The FBI also dropped the ball on Cruz last September when Ben Benite saw this comment on YouTube. I'm going to be a professional school shooter. The username was Nicholas Cruz. Benite, a Mississippi bail bondsman, immediately contacted the FBI, and the next day an agent came to his home. But no investigation was ever conducted. The FBI also conducted internal database reviews and open source checks. No additional information was found to positively identify the person who posted this comment. But in 2015 and 2016, Cruz had posted pictures of himself on Instagram with weapons. In a statement this afternoon, the FBI said about the January 5th tip, under established protocols, the information provided by the caller should have been assessed as possible threat to life. The information then should have been forwarded to the FBI Miami field office where appropriate investigative steps would have been taken. We have determined that these protocols were not followed. In a statement, FBI Director Christopher Wray added, I am committed to getting to the bottom of what happened in this particular matter, as well as reviewing our processes for responding to information we receive from the public. We have spoken with victims and families and deeply regret the additional pain this causes those affected by this horrific tragedy. Now, elected officials are not keeping quiet either. We've learned from con Congressman Ted Deutsch, he wants further investigations into the FBI's conduct, and Governor Rick Scott wants FBI Director Christopher Wray to resign. Live in Parkland, Amber Diaz, CBS4 News. Amber, thank you for that.